What we're getting into now is the intellectual, verbal, mental exercises that are absolutely essential. Now, there's some people that, I believe there's some, they, they set a target that the masses would consider to be ridiculous, but it never enters their mind it won't happen. They just know it's going to happen. They don't understand any of this, but they just go ahead and do it. Well, when you start working on this, your old paradigm, remember, didn't go away. It doesn't go away just because you want it to. It's a fair amount of energy put into getting it to go away. And you'll sit here, now you're in a very receptive state, great mental energy. I mean, we've created such good energy in here. Um, it's easy to believe we're going to do it and say we're going to do it and think, yeah, I don't think it'll be too, too difficult. But then maybe next Thursday, you go to get in your car, you've got an appointment, you're really in a hurry, and the tire's flat. Something stupid like that, and it could just throw you right off. Now, if somebody said, well, it's time to really visualize, yeah, well, forget it. You see, some things that can happen that just take our attention, take us right away from what we're doing. Now, this is real, and you know that, and I know it. We've got to be prepared that we're not going to let that knock us off track. That doesn't mean you're going to get excited because your tire's flat. You'll probably get upset. But that doesn't stop you from doing this. There's certain exercises that you've got to do. Now... Here's the three phases of creation, insofar as you're concerned. They're the three phases. And if you're going after something you want, that's where you start, right at the top. You start out with fantasy. Everything began as a fantasy. This hotel was not about a fantasy. The clothes you're wearing it was just an idea in somebody's mind. The jewelry that you have, the automobile that you're driving, your computer. And you know that. You know that instinctively. You know that. But, you know, think about it. Or it's somebody else. I mean, they can. You know, it's like we say, you're extras in somebody's movie. Well, we've got to make up our mind that we're going to be the star of our own movie. I'm not saying go on an ego trip. It's not an ego trip at all. It's just a healthy, conscious awareness. And that's what you're going to do. But since you haven't been doing it every day, you've got to start. Well, then you have to discipline yourself to certain exercises. Where do you start? You start right here by building a fantasy. So you're going to start living with that idea that you've selected. And you're going to take times. And you may not operate all the time as if you're already there. That's, that's the objective. But, you know, our mind's not programmed to do that right at the start. So, you know, take breaks where you actually visualize. Now, the, the real key to this is get emotionally involved. You've got to get emotionally involved. Consider that you're acting. You're an actor. Now, you may say, well, I've never acted. Well, you're acting all the time. Um, there's a great book, Stella Adler's book, The Art of Acting. I think everybody should get it because Stella Adler didn't actually write a book. She had different classes as she trained people in uh, method acting. And when she died, a man named Kissel took all her lessons, put it together in a book. So when you read the book, what you're actually doing is going to Stella Adler's acting classes. And she was one of the best in the world. Well, you become the actor and you act, you know, in your own mind. You can, you can be doing this in a crowded subway and you see yourself in that role. You see yourself actually doing it. Okay? You build the fantasy. Now, just play with that. You may fool around with that for a week or two. Just keep, you know, until you start to become familiar with going there. And you'll find you can go there in a millisecond just like that. Now, 
keep this in mind. As you're building that fantasy, you're tucking it into cells in your brain. Whole group of cells, each little aspect of it's in a cell in your brain. Now, when you think of it, all those cells are activated and the picture flashes on the screen of the mind. That is the purpose of your goal card. You write your goal on the card. You guess at the date that it's going to manifest. You could be out by a long shot. But you write the date, and then it begins, I am happy and grateful now that. It's got to be in present tense. It's now. It's not in the future. It's not going to happen. happen. It is so. It is. So I'm happy and grateful now that. Now, don't write on the card until you write it on a piece of paper a few times. Make sure it's in present tense and all positive like it's happened. In as few words as possible. Okay? You're guessing at the date. Just sort of a feeling. Okay? Now, when you put that card in your pocket or in your purse, every time you put your hand in your pocket and touch the card, sensory factor touches affected, a life message goes rifle firing through your central nervous system. It strikes a cell in your brain that is activated, is hooked up to all the other cells, and a hole works in them, and they start increasing amplitude of vibration. And as they do that, the images that's in them comes on the screen of the mind. Now, this happens at warp speed. You touch the picture's there. Every time you turn, bang, the picture's there. That's the useful purpose of the gold card. That's why we put it in a little sleeve. I remember, I remember the day that I used to, they used to have uh, machines in the airport where you could put, I think, a quarter in, and you'd get this thing, and it would be two pieces of plastic that were sticky on one side. And I'd put my goal in between them and then put them together. It was put for movies or for pictures. This was, they sold them in airports. Well, I'd put that in my pocket, but then all the sticky enough stuff would work itself out to the edge and it'd be full of lint and dirty in it and anything loose in my pocket. You know, it was just a mess all the time. So one day at Nagel Conant, I got the idea if we had a sleeve made and I phoned. Dorothy Perra, who run the warehouse and bought everything for the company, I said, could you get me, and I described this, and she said, yeah, I probably can. Well, she found them. We must have given millions of these things away all over the world. Carry it loose in your purse or your pocket. And then it's got Lawrence's quote on it. I like it. You know, this I did. Right? Well, now, you've got the fantasy. Now what you want to do, you've got to put it in print. How do you do that? Well, you've got to take it and you've got to activate another intellectual factor. See, the intellectual factor of imagination was used to build the fantasy. Now you're going to theory. Now you activate the reasoning factor. And you start to change this from fantasy into something that's intellectual. It's real in your mind. And you start to describe it. You start to put it in words. And each word represents a picture. So what you're doing is you're painting your picture now in words. That's what a book is. It's a picture painted in words. Okay? That's why sometimes you go to a movie when you've read a book and you're so disappointed the movie isn't anything like the book. The truth is the movie is like the book, but it's not like the movie that you built when you were reading the book. You see? You didn't have a budget. There was no budget restraints. I mean, you had... You, whatever character you wanted, it was yours. It was all done in your mind. So we got this beautiful picture, and we go to the movies, and we think, geez, it was such a disappointment. It wasn't anywhere near like the book. It was like the book. It wasn't like your movie, though. Well, you're taking your movie now, and you're putting it into words. Now, there's a test you've got to pass before the theory becomes a goal. See? To turn that into a goal, you have to pass a test. You have to, first of all, ask, ask, am I able? Am I able to do that? Well, if you really understand the true nature of who you are, if you stop and think about anyone that's ever done anything, just take the example, the four or five examples that we put in this workbook. And we did enough research to grab enough of their bio background so that you'll see they're very ordinary folks. but they did very extraordinary things. Well, we're ordinary folks. We can do extraordinary things. And we got to get rid of the idea that they can, but I can't. Well, she's so much better. He's so much... No, 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 no. 
They're just doing it better than you, but you can do it better than you're doing it. Yet, since most of our behavior is habitual, what we want to do is form habits. What do you got those six points for? I told you to put them together in pairs. Change two things at a time. Take you maybe a month. Doesn't take long. And it's so simple. You say, is this all I have to do? That's all you have to do. Wander around with an attitude of gratitude. I love what Waddle said. The entire process, and you want to remember this, the entire process of mental adjustment and atonement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. Well, I'm going to tell you there's times when I need a mental adjustment. I don't know about you, but I would imagine there's times when you do. Somebody's upset you. Something's upset you. Things aren't just working out right. You need a mental adjustment. Check your attitude. You have an attitude of gratitude. And as you do this mental adjustment, I don't care how big the problem is. I don't care how it's getting to you. Gratitude fixes it. Gratitude hooks you up your source of supply. Gratitude brings order to your mind. The entire process of mental adjustment and atonement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. So, am I able to do this? We've got power that goes way beyond the scope of our imagination. Doesn't matter how many are against you. It's like the, the person said, one person with God's a majority, I guess. You've got all the power in the universe on your side. So you've got to, you've got to come up. I don't, I don't really understand it, but yes, I believe I'm able. If I was figuring out how to use all this power, then you have to ask the key one. Am I willing? Am I willing? I have traveled all night in terrible snowstorms, no sleep, to get to a place to do an all-day seminar. I could tell you some of the wildest stories that we've gone through. You had to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to be willing to pay the price. And you don't know what the price is. But you got to be willing to pay. Are you willing to pay the price? Yeah, I'm willing. You see, it's not to get whatever we're going after, it's to grow. It's the growth that you experience as you go after it. That is the deal. You become such a much more in tune individual. And the second you say, I am. Able, I'm willing, and I'm able, and I'm going to do it. Boom, it becomes a goal. Now, what you're going to do, Sandy's going to come on in a minute, and you want to pay real close attention to what she's talking about. I mean real close attention. We were talking here in the green room, and we arrived at the conclusion that what she's teaching right now, she's taught many, many times, but, and she certainly knows it, and she's experienced it, but we decided... It's never, ever been taught where it's more important than it is with this group right here, right now. More than any other seminar. That's because this seminar is on goals. It's on following the creative process. Now, when you do what she's suggesting, this is what you're going to do. You're going to be taking the goal and you're going to plant it in the garden of the mind. That part of you is a part of everything. That's the infinite side of you. And get this. It operates one way. It is totally deductive. In other words, it does not have the ability to change anything. Exactly what you plant, that's what you're going to get. It cannot change it. If it's not, the picture is not complete, then the, the manifestation is not going to be complete. If there's all kinds of doubt piled into it, it'll probably dissolve it. Whatever you plant, that's what you're going to get. Whatever you're afraid of, that's what will be delivered. This is pretty important stuff. Now, when you plant it there and you understand this, that's when it begins to move into form and becomes a fact. So you go from fantasy to theory to fact. Now, when you do that, you're in the position to build bigger and better fact, better and bigger, better fantasies. So you're always growing and moving to a higher plane. That is the creative process. It's very simple. You can certainly teach it to a child. It could be applied to a report card. It could be applied to skiing racing, painting, 
earning money, building a business, the position that you're going after, the level in your company, can be applied to anything, and you do not have to know how to do it. I maintain you don't even have to believe it to start. Because when I wrote down that I was going to have $25,000, I did not believe that. I thought that was a crock. There's no way I would ever have $25,000. I didn't even know anybody with that kind of money. But I did what he said. I did exactly what he said. And you know what I did? I started to believe it. If you tell yourself a lie often enough, you're going to believe it. There's all kinds of evidence in history. Hitler told the people that he should, they should burn the books. You know, they did. They ended up burning the people. They believed they were doing the right thing. There's people alive today that believe they did the right thing. Believe and your belief will create the fact. So do you want to change your belief about you? Do you want to believe you're better than, you are, than you've been demonstrating? I do. I would imagine you do too. This is the way you're going to do it. Follow this process. It's the creative process. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.